Storytelling has been around for a long, long time. Stories can help us explore new worlds, learn new things, and even help us understand each other. What if we can combine the power of storytelling with generative AI? With the help from AWS Amplify AI Kit, let's weave a new story just for fun with only a single prompt. Hi, I'm Eric. Let's turn the page and explore how to make this together. So I have a demo AI story generator app that I created right here. So in this case, I'm going to ask, can you create a story with a fuzzy purple bear? And I'm going to click Create Story. And what it's doing right now is it's talking to our large language model, and it's going to create this for us. And I'll show you how this code works. So you can see here, deep in the heart of the whispering woods, it goes on uh, and describes a story with this purple bear. So to make this work, I have the code here on the right-hand side of my screen. So this is a resource file, and this resource file is how we're going to define how we're going to talk to our large language model in the back end. And you can see I have a prompt, a system prompt that says, generate a story and a title that's fun and exciting. Leave it in a cliffhanger. The story should be a fun, magical story. And I define the Claude 3 sonnet model. I have arguments, and then I assume that's going to return a story and title. So it's just with these 15 lines of code. This will actually do all the backend work for us. It'll create the code to talk to our large language model. I also have at the top this story, which is a model. So this is our data model that I created and I just have this title and story. And so after this was generated, it's now saved into our backend. And this is really interesting. And I could see how you could use this to create stories in the future. But what I really wanna do is show you how you can use this to go beyond just creating prompts and stories. So I have a, a chat mode, and this chat mode is created using Amplify AI Kit's AI conversational component. If we look inside our chat.tsx file, you can see here, this is AI conversation. So once again, I just put a few lines of code in here. I have this hook as well, where I'm grabbing this information from, and it'll display this chat window for us. Let's say we want to grab that information from that story that we just created. So show me the story with the purple bear. And now what's gonna do is large language model is going to look at the model that we created and it's going to retrieve the information for the purple bear. So it says, looking for the description of the purple bear, I found a story called the Enchanted Forest Lavender Guardian. That's the story we just created. But now it's explaining all about that story. Now, I don't know about you, but this looks not great. I would like it to kind of make it look nice. Also, I want to link back to the story so I can read it all in, in a nice interface, just like the one I was just at. So uh, we do have something called response components. And what this is, it's a feature in this AI conversation component where you can tell it once it receives a certain response to display a card. So let's do that. Uncomment this all out. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to ask the same question to show me the story with the purple bear again. So show me the story with the purple bear. Now this time, since I've saved it, and it should look at what's coming back from the large language model, and it'll display it in this nice looking card. So you can see here right away, thank you for providing the list of stories. I've searched through them and I found one, and it's going to use this Amplify UI story card function, which is this one right here. I created this component beforehand, little pop-up here, has the picture of the purple bear, and has the title, and it has the whole story. This is very long. And one thing large language models are really good at is summarization. So how can we also have it summarize this text here? Well, we can do that a couple of ways. Uh, let's go back to this resource file. And in this resource file, I have something called summarizer. And so I define this in this file beforehand. And it says, you are a helpful assistant that summarizes the stories, give a concise summary of the supplied story. The summary should be one or two sentences long. And what I can do is once I show that story card, Let's summarize the story so people don't have to read the whole story here. So I'm going back to the story card here, and I'm going to uncomment this out, and I'm going to use this new story, the summary story function. And you can see how it's doing it. This is part of the AWS Amplify JavaScript library. I just run this client.generates.summarizer. I already defined it in that resource file, and then it's going to console log it, but it's also going to set the summary story in this React use state. So if I save it, you can see right away, the text has been summarized for us. Uh, it just automatically refreshed for us in my Veet app here. You see that the Enchanted Force, Lavender Guardian, and now it's condensed it in just to a, a few lines. In the Magical Whispering Woods, Violet, 
unique purple bear discovers a mysterious civil mirror, and it goes on. So that makes it uh, really nice to, to add in these common functionalities that you use in large language models. But what if we want to use some third-party APIs, some external data sources to do what we're doing here? And so far, we have been just pulling information from the large language model and using it to help create stories. So let me show you a couple of things that I did. First, let's say we wanted to grab the news and then use that to create a story from. So I have down here this thing called Git News. And this Git News uses a handler. So if we go to the resource, Git News, you can see here from the code, we are using this uh, third-party API to grab news information, we're just passing a category in. And we can set this up inside our resource file by defining it. And then inside chat here, we have something called tools. And tools are a way to work with external third-party APIs or functions. So let's try it out. I'm gonna ask it a question. Can you get me story ideas based on the latest news on wildlife? And so what it's doing now, it's going to talk to this Git News API. It even tells you what it's doing right on the screen here. So it found one uh, on the latest news about the Bamboo Guardian, and it gives a summary of some information on that. So I could definitely see you can use this as a way to create additional stories from it. Uh, another thing we can do is use our knowledge base. Before this demo started, I created a knowledge base. And inside that knowledge base, I put information in it for some classic stories that are in the public domain. And it uses this thing called this KB resolver, which we defined as an HTTP resolver, and it talks directly to the knowledge base. And then inside my resource file here, I created a new data tool called knowledge base. And it says it's used to search a knowledge base of style, dictionary documentation used to help create story prompts. Let me give it a prompt so we can search the knowledge base. Can you please find me a story from the KB for the poor man counts Christmas? And so now it's going to look in the knowledge base to find this and then display it. And then it gives you a description of this story. And then I could use this to create my own stories or to search any information that I like. One last thing I wanna to try to do is we do have this little button here so I can attach pictures. So let's say I have a picture of this squirrel here. I wanna find a story that's based on this kind of look and feel. So let me ask it. Can you find a story that is similar to this picture? It's gonna take a look at this picture and it's gonna find a story that's similar to this one. And you can see it found one called the Acorn Enchanter. And now it's going to display it in the story card. So here it is. And you can see here's the summary as we expect. And if we click on it, now we have the full story for you. With AWS Amplify AI Kit, we were able to create a rich narrative experience using third-party APIs, Amazon Bedrock Knowledge Base, and our own AppSync data model. Amplify AI Kit provided simple abstractions for defining AI functionality and handled provisioning backend resources. We avoided hours of learning complex APIs and reduced the lines of code we had to write. If you wanna try this yourself, Check out the resources in the description. Better yet, once you create your own story, put it in the comments below. I can't wait to read them.